Hey guys, so I just decided that I wanted to show you guys how I make bubble rings. And as a professional mermaid, it is personally my favorite trick to do when I'm mermaiding. And so, first of all, we're going to start with the technique. And it's basically just like blowing a raspberry underwater. Just like that. And I'm gonna use this scrunchie to um, demonstrate what happens with the bubble ring. It kind of turns the, in on itself as it goes up. I actually stole the scrunchie from my sister, but I'm only using it for this video, so I'll put it right back when I'm done with it. And so, that's basically how it goes. You can check out some other videos from other YouTubers that will show you how to do it. I am self-taught. So, I... I'm not going to go through the trouble of putting on my silicone tail for this because there's not a lot of room for it in the hot tub. And we're doing this in the hot tub instead of the pool because it is December and the pool is absolutely freezing. So we're doing this in the hot tub. So I'm just going to use one of my fabric tails. And I'm going to show you how to do it and how it looks in the water. Okay, so now the trick to doing this is to be completely horizontal in the water so that the bubble keeps its shape when it floats up. It's actually a bit, quite a bit harder to do this in the ocean um, where there's currents because the currents have a tendency to break up the bubble and you don't want that. And like when you're starting to get used to it, it helps if you plug your nose, but you can't plug your nose and cover your mouth at the same time or else <laughs> your hand being in the way will break up the bubble. So, you gotta kind of do it like this. So, I've got my tail on. You don't really need a tail to do bubble rings. But, it kind of completes the look. So... I'm doing it with the tail. But ask whether you wear a tail or not is completely up to you. I'm just doing it because I like to. Now let's hope that I don't completely ruin my makeup by going underwater. But it's not likely. Because not all of my makeup is waterproof. Yeah, like I said, not all of my makeup is 100% waterproof. So, some of it did get a bit messed up, but it was actually worth it. <laughs> so, 
the bubbles will get bigger the more t time it takes for them to get to the surface. Obviously, a hot tub is pretty shallow, so it it doesn't take long for it to reach the surface. So if you want bigger bubbles, go to deeper water. I personally like to just lay on the bottom of my pool and just blow bubble rings. And that's how I like to practice. I practice without pinching my nose and with pinching my nose. Because it's just It's just a better experience when you don't get a bunch of water up your nose. Because who likes to get a bunch of water up their nose? I certainly don't. So, so guys, I hope this video helped. If it did, go ahead and click that thumbs up button leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe you should definitely check out some other videos on how to do this that might be a bit um better and if i can find some videos of me doing bubble rings from a while ago. I will definitely add that into the video. So, like I said, go ahead and hit that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll, I will see you guys in the next video.